The 250 underground parking spots are already filling up this morning on the official first day of the Central Library. But with more than a million books, documents and magazines, it's hard to know where to begin to start snooping around. So here to help sort things out is Mel Katz. Good morning. He's good morning, chair of the Library Foundation, and he's going to give us a little tour. Let's go. Perfect. So first on our list is something very unusual, the library shop. This is like a museum shop. What happens to the proceeds here? The proceeds here go to the Friends of the Library and to the Library Foundation, and both of those organizations support all 36 of our libraries in San Diego. So you're not just getting a little token, you're also helping support the oh, library. For sure, and we have items here that go from 50 cents to the painting behind you that's $4,300. And again, the proceeds go to all of the branch libraries. And since we're talking about money, let me ask you this. Uh, a lot of people, um, t tell us first of all, how much, it, how much does it cost the operating budget and how much more is it than the last library? Uh, this new library, which is more than double the size, will cost $2.7 million more a year to operate. And it's being, um, we cover those, that expense by two families that are putting in a million dollars a year, the Jacobs family and the Hervey family. And then the other 700,000 a year is made up by this gift shop, it's made up by underground parking, and it's made up by the cafe outside. We're now entering the Denny Sanford Children's Library. This library is all Dr. Seuss theme. When you look around, you can see these amazing murals in here of Dr. Seuss books and characters. This center is 10,000 square feet. And then on the second floor is our teen center, that's 6,000 square feet. You have something very unusual here, besides the uh, amazing artwork that's just so true to San Diego. Uh, show us what you're doing with some of the rare and old books here for kids. Yes, here's an example. Here's a book that in 1938 was signed by Ted Geisel, Dr. Seuss. And then on top is a tablet that shows every one of the pages in that book. So children can come in here and actually leaf through the pages and see the book without touching the book. In this area, we have all of these computers that are both in English and Spanish. And Rena, our children's librarian, is showing our Tappet screen. Once the books are returned, right from the back of the building here on J Street, they go up on this Dr. Seuss-like contraption, which is a sorting machine. And this conveyor belt takes it into the sorting room where they're all separated and delivered back to the floors that this books came from. And then right over here is our baseball collection, which is the second largest collection outside of Cooperstown, New York. It's called the Saber Collection, which this is, is the society of American baseball research. So you've got photos, you've got videos, uh, 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 it's a huge collection. It's a huge collection. It has statistics back to the 1900s and it's all right here on the shelves. And of course baseball is great and we're real close to Petco Park, but away. there's all sorts of other uh, resources available for sports fans too. Oh yeah, throughout the library we cover every sport from lacrosse to soccer to football, even chess. Is that a sport? <laughs> we have that throughout the library. Excellent. So in the rare books room, we have this book, which is our largest book. And we also have the largest collection of miniature books that are just around this size. In the rare books collection, we have over 9,000 items some going back as far as 4,000 years. And in fact, I understand one of them is actually not even a book, it's a tablet, right? A Babylonian it, tablet? It is, it is. So right by the Rare Books Room is the Mark San Diego Heritage Collection. And included in that is this amazing book of San Diego, uh, of all the city streets back, this dates back to uh, 1920, 1921. And you can see all the layout and if that's not far enough back for you, we can go back to uh, 1887. And here's a layout, another book. Original book with the layout of uh, San Diego. So Mel, we've made it to the top, right above the People's Penthouse, ninth floor. How many visitors are you expecting? Our old building, which was half the size, we were getting 10,000 people a week. We're expecting over 40,000 people a week in this new amazing building. With an amazing view. An amazing view that you can just see. We're here on the Phyllis Epstein Bayview Terrace right now. And we are so excited to today 
turn it over to the people.